here you can see I am trying to put down a number of features out there. There is a triplet which is a post IVF case. We had introduced three embryos and all of them are doing good. But to reduce the chances of getting expelled or getting making more complications on the mother and the fetus, we plan to exclude one of them. And uh, you, as you can see, you, you will see there are two placentas. One is in the anterior and two in one in the posterior. Of course, the one in the anterior is bigger because there are two fetuses supplying it. And the uh, other one is in the posterior aspect. So we will plan to take out the one in which is the nearest to the probe. Uh, so you can see the all the fetuses are moving and they are about 15 weeks of size uh, here we uh, use potassium chloride to stop the heart of the fetus and uh, we use around 2 ml of the f solution without diluting it so we as we are preparing now to introduce in through the anterior side we use general anesthesia so that the patient do not feel pain and uh, do not feel the trauma of deleting one of the fetus so that way we use a lumbar puncture needle like so around uh, 20 gauge size and introduced with the help of the ultrasound through the anterior abdominal wall we can do it per vaginally also but uh, vagina it introduces uh, infection and chances of chorioamnionitis is very high and that might expel all the fetuses and might cause dangerous complications to the mother also so we always do it through the anterior abdominal wall we do not like to do it because we had this experience before of all the fetuses getting expelled so we pro, uh, mostly do it in our uh, in the abdominal approach so we used uh, a 3. Point megahertz probe, a convex probe, where the f uh, there are introducers. Of course, we use a free hand because a free hand is better. We find it very easier than using a tracker or a tracking probe attachment. Uh, you can see. Uh, the heart beat uh, and you will see the introduction of the needle also we use the color of Doppler uh, to check whether the fetal heart has stopped or not in the later stages but in the earlier stages we just we can see the fetal heart beating and you can see the I think the needle has gone in it will be introduced into the heart of the fetus yes we can see the heart fetal heart getting feeble Here we are using a Logic P5 machine to do the job and we can use higher machines also but a Logic P5 is enough for our procedure and 
in the meantime we used hydroxy progesterone as an intramuscular injection and had also used a duodenal drip to reduce the chances of contraction of the uterus in this lady we used uh, progesterone injection for a long time and we used uh, aspirin and uh, lmwh to help increase the circulation for the other two fetuses so that we can get better outcome or take home uh, baby would be good so that way we try to save the other two fetuses <coughs> as you can see that fetus fetal heart has almost stopped we will be checking again and we had since we thought that uh, heart may be there because uh, fetus may go into suspended animation uh, if we just leave it so we to ensure that the fetal heart has stopped we in reintroduced our uh, needle again and uh, put some extra potassium chloride into the mediastinum too because we were very apprehensive that we might leave something behind <coughs> you can see the introduction of the needle which is right now in the mediastinum we had some we had introduced some of the kcl there you can see the white bright white area and the movement of the needle which is there in the mediastinum of the fetus we always take uh, the fetal heart rates before the procedure and uh, keep a record of that and uh, after the procedure we do a post procedure fetal heart study of all the three where we check the other two uh, whether they remain o are okay and the uh, first one the the one we uh, thought of excluding or deleting there you can see the doppler out there rest of the placenta it shows a good doppler and in the fetus it has small amount of beating is still there so we kept the uh, needle with the KCL uh, thinking that if it is necessary we can introduce some more of KCL but it is sure no more KCL was required and uh, after the procedure we uh, put out the lumbar puncture needle you can see it's still there and then we have put out and check the heart fetal heart as you can see there is no more beating out there or the fetal heart The rest of the fetuses, the other two fetuses were beating properly and we took a post-procedure heartbeat also to reassure that the other two fetuses were okay. This was the procedure which was done in our clinic. there you can see there is no heartbeat in the fetal uh, heart timeline 
after introducing the color pulse wave doppler thank you